Yo, what's going on guys? This is Kek back here with another Animal Jam video. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be uh, pretty much doing every single glitch on Animal Jam Classic that I know of. So I've made a video on a lot of these glitches and yeah, you know, I'm gonna be following a lot of those videos in this video. But mostly the glitches we're gonna be following are retaining to our animal and like customization. So stuff like getting secret colors that aren't on the palette, uh, removing our eyes, that's another one. And yeah, pretty much other stuff like that. So uh, uh, first of all we're going to start off pretty simple here and we are actually going to do the time travel glitch now i wanted to do this with a frolicking fox but i don't actually have enough diamonds at the moment on this account for an animal yeah that's that's kind of where i'm at right now uh so here we are we're going to change the set date and time we're just going to change it to a random date like around here i guess and then we're going to go hit add animal and as you can see here we can see the frolicking fox obviously i don't have enough diamonds to buy it so instead as a substitute we're going to use a spring bunny because i actually do have the spring bunny on this account and the reason why i want to do a special animal uh or special patterned animal i should say is because we are going to be doing a glitch with these patterns here that will pretty much allow us to change it to any color we want essentially so here we have the spring bunny i'll just name it uh surf shy ice like all my animals and there we go perfect and perfect so um obviously the host thing pops up there then then though it popped up for non-members like this uh once you did it but that looks really weird because obviously mem non-members can't host parties but uh we will just set the time automatically again and now we can refresh it uh, also you get to see what date i'm recording this august 29th at 12 55 a.m do not ask why i'm up at 1 a.m recording an alma jam video but uh that just goes to show uh, i don't know when this video is going to go out so you know by the time you see this it might be september <laughs> to be honest now uh you're probably wondering who this not member is uh this is actually my alt account um i think i've shown the username a few times in old videos but um, i'm not going to show it just because it does uh, receive the wrath of AJHQ, but uh, pretty much some of these glitches require two players, as in like you need to change the den as you're doing something in your player inventory uh, while you're changing your colors and stuff. So uh, that's pretty much why this account is here. Uh, that's the only reason why it's here. And I'm in the den of this account here as well. So uh, this glitch actually requires me to be a different animal here. And I will just set this up real quick here. Like so, um, what I pretty much have to do is I have to switch to this animal here and at the same time time change the den so i will do that real quickly just like this and i should show up as the spring bunny here uh but oh i'm not the fox here so we are gonna try that again so i'm the spring bunny here uh but i'm still the fox here okay so this time it actually worked um i believe i can just change this to like any kind of color here i'll just change it slightly to red so it doesn't like ruin my outfit but if we tab over here uh this has this really weird colors here which very strange looking not gonna lie uh but nonetheless quite cool um i don't know if what happens if i do it white it just changes one of the flowers to white we're just gonna go with this because it looks kind of distorted i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty weird but uh here here we have it now i do believe um i actually do need to have an underwater animal as well for something i do want to do which is the invisible eye glitch which we will be doing here now in a second um as we can see here we do have the little glitch pattern here so we are gonna try do that here this is very unorganized by the way i just want to put that out there because i need to remember like seven different glitches for this video <laughs> I'm off the top of my head, uh, but I'm gonna make my character white here so I can like properly see the um, eyes here. Right, we'll actually make it just like orange and cream and then white. So same thing again, needs to uh, switch the den over like so. Okay, so same thing again, I switch to the spring bunny, then switch the den just like this. And I'm the spring bunny on here, but uh, okay, it didn't work again. Uh, very trial and error, you guys get to see it all. Okay, here we go, I have it now. That took like five attempts here, but um, as you can see on this screen, I am the spring bunny still and on the screen i'm still my penguin here so uh we can just change the color slightly i think this will not get rid of my eyes here which is kind of weird but i think if i do change it slightly to a different eye like this uh there we go i got rid of my eyes so um i'm now a eyeless glitched pattern spring bunny which looks very very weird but nonetheless here it is quite weird i think there was a glitch that allowed you to have like a, a lightning strike pattern as well as the spring flowers around you i think that is patched now though um if it isn't uh, 
the the way to do it is very complicated than it was it used to be so i don't really know now but uh this is the best we're pretty much going to get for this uh spring bunny right now and uh i'm just going to change to that here and we can get, get get going now um i guess the next part of this video you know there's like we have this glitch pattern here but i guess we can do like a secret color here so we'll just do the normal magenta one here um kind of boring not gonna lie but i think if i were to try get like one of the secret colors that is on a different animal um i would have to put it on the penguin then put it on the spring bunny which sounds like a lot of work i'm not gonna lie but um you know this is pretty much the same thing where it's like off color palette um type of thing off palette kind of color which is what i'm trying to go for here so this kind of works out for us uh nonetheless and then we could just make that black there uh, randomly now uh the next item glitch here or the next glitch actually surrounds with items uh pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna equip multiple of the same item or the same type of item so we're gonna pretty much be equipping two head items or something like that uh this is through a glitch that allows you to change the color of items but in doing so you actually do equip like two head items um when you know that you know usually is not possible so i think the first step is i open my inventory clear my items off then i go back out and then go back in um i don't know if that like i have to actually do that step if um i wasn't wearing items prior but i'm gonna do it just to be safe anyway next i have to go sort by the item i want to do um or change the color of i guess um and that's gonna be the head item for here then i'm gonna change the uh or i'm gonna select the item i want to change the color of so i'm gonna do the elf helmet here because i am a sucker for elf helmets then i exit out of my inventory once again and then go back in so uh once i sort by head again i actually do have to find an item that i want to you know kind of take the color of i guess i don't have many items on this account because it's kind of a throwaway account but uh i guess we will do this purple tiara here and then then i have to clear it off remove items like this and then sort by the bottom like this and then i have to find the tiara then i exit out and then as you can see there um i am wearing the ancient elf helmet as well as the royal tiara at the same time and uh you know i can change my color a little bit um i usually just kind of mess it up a little bit sometimes uh but i guess for this item it's not doing it uh regardless i'm now wearing two head items which is kind of the goal of what i wanted to do i didn't really care about uh changing changing uh, the color of uh, the item here per se but we have done it we have done it and my alt account got logged out while I was doing that because it took so long now the next glitch here um I don't know if I have a video on it um if I don't by the time this goes up I will probably make one before this video goes up because I just like to have uh, consistency in my tutorials I guess pretty much uh this one is gonna allow us to get to pretty much any adventure level we want so in the game here if we turn on our adventure level as you can see here I'm only level one on this animal here so uh we actually do need to get to level two to do the glitch i want to do here uh so we're gonna talk to liza real quick and um, i'm just gonna cut a lot of this part out because i'm literally just gonna be repeating this adventure over and over in order to get to level two okay there we go level two uh, that took like about 15 minutes to do uh, actually i'm probably exaggerating but uh this is level two we got to the level we want this is all pretty handy and dandy so next we have to go to i think it is the great escape no it's greatly's inferno See, I'm already forgetting. Uh, so I'm joining adventure. It has to be on hard mode here. So the volcanic eruption could destroy all of Jamal. Uh, yeah, this is the same adventure that I need to go to. Yes, it is. Um, we can ignore most of this. Um, we actually have to get pretty far into this adventure here in order to get to where we need uh, in order to activate this glitch or do this glitch, I should say. So uh, I pretty much have to get all the way up here. Um, I'm just going to speed run my way through it, even if I take damage along the way. And I already died kind of getting flashbacks here from that one adventure stream i did where i did every adventure in one stream which was not a pleasant experience i can assure you that much okay we somehow like managed to get our way past that and to the next respawn point here as well i'm just gonna honestly i'm probably just gonna cut most of this out because uh it's probably just gonna consist of me dying a lot and waiting a lot for these things especially so i'll catch you guys back up when we are at the place i need to be okay i'm finally near the place i need to be um we can ignore most of this okay i already died all over the place uh most of this we can ignore we can ignore this like huge barrier here and uh these little laser beams uh we just need to go up this purple pipe here and i apologize for the frame rate by the way but this is just how adventures are in the this year um this day and age on alamo jam it's just very hectic and uh very laggy to say the least um we're actually gonna try find the lever for that thing that turns it off okay it's over here and then we're gonna kill the phantoms and get this all tidied up um there's one cog 
cog there. We actually do need these uh, cogs in order to do the glitch. And I believe that phantom up there should have the other one. And that didn't kill him for whatever reason. Okay, this guy's invis invincible, so I'm just gonna take a hit so I can kill him. Okay, he didn't drop one. Ah, uh, okay. There's one here. Oh, they were stacked on top of each other. That's why it was like that. Okay, we can do that here. And now I have to set this up. Now, lucky for me, I do have a screenshot that does allow me uh, to, you know, just kind of set this up easily. Uh, shout out to Tawny, by the way. Put them on screen. I don't know their, their socials or anything, but I, um, they told me this through Animal Jam when I was still on Keck Tropica, I believe. But shout out to them. They actually showed me this glitch, um, you know, a few months ago and how to do it. So big props to them for this because I wouldn't be able to do this probably if it weren't for them. Yeah, I pretty much have to set up these mirrors here like so. And I have to change this one here, this one there. So pretty much what the glitch does is you pretty much spam click this and it rotates. And for some reason, it'll give you a bunch of XP. I think I do have to open this door if I'm not mistaken though, as well in order to do it. Uh, so we're gonna do that real quick. And now we're gonna kind of change that there. And we're gonna just do the glitch here. And as you can see um, in the bottom left screen of my XP bar, you can see it jump a bunch. Uh, apologies if you can hear my clicking by the way. Uh, you can see it just jump a whole bunch. I'm already leveled up here. Uh, this is how, you know, you see people like walking around with like level 30 foxes, by the way. Um, you know, I showed up in some of my videos with like a level 30 animals. This is how people do it. It's quite entertaining, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of boring to do. It takes a very long time if you want to get to like level 30. I think it, take, it took me like eight hours. I'm not going to lie. Um, of like nonstop clicking to do this. Um, to be honest, I'm not really uh, too interested in like getting to like level 30 just for this video because that would take uh, literally forever. So I'm just going to get to like level five or something. Like I'm just going to change. I'm just going to get to a level where it changes the level border. So from like going to like circle to like a star maybe, which I think is like a, like a level seven, which I think should have been the, the max level border because the max level border is just a square. But um, I think the star should have been the max one, but uh, I think it's the coolest one. So that's why I'm just going to do that one for this video. Okay. So um, pretty much got the glitch done here now, as you can see level five, Um, you know, nothing too impressive here, but I just wanted the, the star border. Not gonna lie. So here we are. And yeah, that's pretty much the last glitch I'm gonna do for right now. The next part of the video is just gonna be uh, making a glitched pet. And in order to do that, I need to go to, I believe it is the play as your pet party. And not gonna lie, I'm just gonna throw uh, some footage of me doing it on screen right now, rather than like having commentary over it. Um, I'm picking this up later because I don't know if I will be free in three hours time. And I don't know when this party is gonna be on again after that. So you can see it right now. Oh my God, a glitched shark. I can't believe it. It doesn't have a head. Here we are, here it is. There's the last glitch. Uh, plus uh, I, I don't really wanna do it again um, right now because I can't equip it to this bunny, which it would have been cool if I could, but I can't. So this is, that's, that's the whole video. This is how I, I um, pretty much make the glitchiest Animal Jam account ever, I guess. This is quite glitchy, you know, wearing two head items at the same time. You know, you'll never see this happen again unless you do it for yourself, that is. But uh, yeah, they, that, that's the video pretty much, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you guys do want to make or you want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one because this definitely won't be my last video of this kind of nature. Uh, we are going to break this game. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it as well and let me know in the comments comment section below what you guys think about this. Did you enjoy it? Let me know what your favorite glitch was in the comment section below. And yeah, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.